guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Vandora Vandora and I hope I don't waste your time <laughs> in this video I don't know I'm trying to come up with my own like slogan like hello guys my name is Vandora Vandora I hope I don't waste your time keep it locked let's do it you know what's up I don't know I'm trying to come up with something if you have something like that for me please leave it in the comment section below um okay so my name is Vandora Vandora and welcome back to my channel and today I really just want to talk I just want to talk because um, I like YouTubing and I like it because I get to put on my camera and pretend I'm talking to a lot of people because if you guys don't know I don't have like a multitude of friends or I don't have like a friend group where like we're like four or five girls that we all know each other and we all connect and we can sit and chat and we all know what's going on. I don't have that. I used to. And I think I abandoned them. <laughs> I think that's how they would see it. I would just see it as me not understanding myself at that time. But they wouldn't know because I don't talk. So this is, this is going to be therapeutic for me. And it's also going to give some people that don't understand or know in Nigeria, like... Okay, let me go back to the beginning. What I want to talk about is um, the from um, um, what happened in Nigeria from the beginning of protest to kind of like the end of the protest, you know? So, let's get into it. So, I'm going to start like this. I'm going to start at the very, very beginning. All right. So, um, a friend of mine told me, have you seen what's going on on Twitter? People are about like all about this and SAS movement because um, SAS, if you don't know, is um, Special Anti-Robbery Unit. So they are like supposed to be like an elite force that takes care of robbery in Nigeria because when they were created in the 1990-somethings, the people in Nigeria used to put money in their house, under their bed, they had a secret stash, so people would come robbing the house hoping to find that cash but now in 2020 a lot of people don't have like you won't come and rob me and see money on me do you get like it's not it's not a thing anymore or for to most people so they've kind of outlived their purpose so what they started to do they started to constitute a nuisance on the streets of Nigeria so as long as I have an iPhone a laptop or I'm young. I am eligible to be mistreated, extorted, um, killed by SARS. That's, so people were fighting against it. And I've been in a situation where SARS has, has done the unthinkable to me. And also my ex, um, every time I used to call him, I used to call him and he'd be like, oh wait, Sass is in front of me. And I wouldn't speak to him for like four, three, five hours later. And he'll have been sitting on the floor, been treated like an animal, a criminal, you know, all for them not to find nothing and for him to give them money. Do you understand? And it was just a lot. So I know this cause. I'm passionate about this cause. I'm ready to fight for this cause. So I'm with the answers protest like I'm with the answers like legit I, I do some tweets I don't even know how to use Twitter but I learn I learn because all I do on Twitter is post my picture and go but I learned how to you know use it communicate read threads and understand the whole dynamics of it so I can you know get to connect because that, that's the whole point of social media that's the whole point of the platform so they I am I, so I was treating a really high fever because I just came back from Benue. If you don't know, I went on a trip to, ah, I would call it an exotic part of Nigeria. And I came back, I'm always very, like, I'm always very, I'm always, always very sensitive to new environments. So I came back with a high fever, like I was really feeling down. Um, so I treated that then I, because um, I was in Abuja, I went from, so how it is is that you fly to Abuja then drive to Benue. That's what we did. So 
um so i was back in abuja i was in princess's house and i was treating my fever as soon as that was done i came back home which i, I live in lagos and then i discovered that i had like malaria i had just finished it was like three days because you know the pill three days so um what's it called the pill that i was taking was like a three-day pill do you understand so once i had completed it i think this they, they were doing protests before that i couldn't make it because obviously i'm treating malaria so the day after they had another one and i was like i have to be here so i woke up in the morning i didn't even dress properly all right i didn't even dress properly for the protest I was just like i have to be out here i have to do this so we went from and i went with a friend so we went from ikoi um bridge i walked all the way from ikoi bridge down into ikoi um to the deputy governor's house where we were trying to get some answers to see if he would join us to see if he was for us if he understood our plight we didn't get anything reasonable from him so we decided to leave his side and walk all the way to the roundabout where people decided you know what they're going to stay here they're going to block the road i didn't quite understand that part but we did we did for a couple of hours so this was from like 10 o'clock so about around at about two i was finished i needed to go home change just shower eat you know just i don't even know at this point use the toilet <laughs> too much information but you know what i mean but then we then we, we walk all the way but we park just at the um we park just at the um the bridge we parked on the bridge so uh, we wanted to go they had now blocked the they now had the some other protesters had blocked that toll gate and i was like oh wow all right so my friend was getting angry was ve getting vexed trying to talk to them to let him go that we are protesters too because protesters were going home and mind you it was kind of like a shifting because some some people that were there in the morning were not there the whole day they had gone home and more people had come so that's how the kind of thing was operating so now um, I was just like my friend should chill like by five we'll be able to leave you know like by five everybody will have gone home I'm just judging from the last one that they did but at five they just decided to move so we thought oh this was our chance to get out hey 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 as we move when we're almost there where we're about to just turn out they decided hey we're gonna block them nobody's passing da, 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 da. I had had enough so i came down um i think um peruzi dremel mayokun they were there i do not know any of them really personally i had met peruzi um at a party once so i was like okay let me go and say what's up to peruzi let me try and talk to him to let me go through i've been here since morning you know yeah let me go so, as I was talking to Peruzi, some men with chest came out and was like, nobody is going anywhere. <laughs> At this time, this is my first protest, by the way. <sighs> I've never had any man, I think, talk to me in that manner. I got upset and I spoke back. And if you do not know, the way I smile, when I get angry, coconut head, me leg burrow. I don't hear what. <laughs> That's why I wanted to fight this guy because clearly I'm, I was, and I was cacked full. That's how it's, I was, it was here, you know, to the top. So as I was talking to Peruzi, they didn't even give me a chance. People just started carrying me. They 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 like trying to separate so that we don't fight because there were policemen there, and I think it would have given them the um, it, we would have we would have given them a reason to you know 
start maybe shooting at us because it was getting rowdy and stuff so they were trying to carry me there but me vanessa williams no they hear what stubborn like a goat i went back in there say you what you do, 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 do. they carried me again on as i calm down i said i'm calm i'm calm i'm calm <laughs> i decided let me try again like, like because i've not even finished my conversation with Perizzi. Perizzi was like ah he doesn't know if it's possible because people don't want it i'm like it's, it's wrong now you block the road it's fine you can block the road but you're not gonna keep me against my will because you're caging me Do you get because they were they were not letting you couldn't go back and you couldn't go forward so it was like a cage and that wasn't it's a peaceful protest not a riot so I felt a little bit away about it ah and then he was like these people blah 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 before we even finish conversation another one that taking off the shirts I don't know what this person had drunk but he started talking to me funny and I know myself me ah, ah, a million bass on bay you're talking to me like that <laughs> something must be going on in your head it's going, it's going. that's how I said what are you gonna do I'm just poking me you see the guy huge <laughs> I was poking and poking the guy that's how people were trying to carry him away. He wants to beat me. I said, beat me. 